how to do the hinge up drill and lower your golf scores. There are five immediate effects from doing the hinge up drill. One, it will teach you proper hinge action in the golf swing. Number two, it will give you more width and depth in the backswing. Three, it will help you turn more properly in the backswing. Four, it will give you motion. And fifth, and most importantly, it's gonna sync up your body and your hands and arms to work together in the golf swing. All right, let me show you how to do this drill. It's an effective drill. I've been using it for over 20 years and it is absolutely awesome. Okay, I'm gonna show you step by step the procedure to do the hinge up drill. This is really important. All right, the name is what it is, it's, that's we're gonna hinge up. So what I mean by that is we're gonna get set up here properly. I got a sand wedge and I'm gonna just hinge it straight up like this, okay? Just hinging my wrist up, okay? Now that sounds easy to do, but the people I introduced this to and it's the first time they've ever done this will have these two common faults that I see and we don't wanna do this because it ruins the drill. There's one, they'll pick up the hands like that and then number two is they'll bend their elbows. So it's just keeping the hands in the same spot, the hinging up and then our arms stay straight. Just like this, okay? That is the first thing we have to establish. Because if our arms stay straight there, then we can create width and depth in the backswing. All right, the other effective thing with this drill, which is just amazing, is a lot of people sway in golf. So when, it, when I introduce this drill to them, hinge it up, they feel themselves turn back. So hands are hinged. Now we're just gonna let the upper body, our stomach, our ribs, our pecs turn back, our hips and it gets the timing of the hands and arms working together by doing this. So there's so many things, like the five things I said in the intro there, they really work, but we have to do the setup. So I'm gonna do it with a sand wedge here, okay? I'm gonna get my arms really loose like a rope. I'm not gonna try to kill it. And like the last thing I said, number five, the arms and the hands and the body are gonna work together. Okay? It's just a feel, it's, it's, you could play like this. I've had people go from just a little up to a lot up and it creates a lot of motion in the swing, especially for people to really stiff and overthink. It's just, it, it just changes how you, your perception of how you wanna hit the ball by doing this. So again, do it one more time here, I'll just hit, get loose. And the, the body and the arms and the hands are just working together. So from the side angle here, let's look at it. Hinge it up. Okay. And for a lot of people out there, the hinge is something that is just, they don't understand or feel what their hands should feel like in the backswing. And this will just create a new habit for you. And it's something that you don't have to hit a golf ball with. You can just swing it around the house, but just make sure you do those things that set up that will help you be very successful in doing this drill. All right, give this drill a try out. If you have any of those areas that are problems in your golf swing, this drill is amazing and will definitely help you out. If you have any questions about what I went over, please comment down below. Also check out barnhillgolf.com. We're growing a community there. We got a lot of new and exciting things to offer in that program. So until next time, stay safe and healthy out there and we'll see you in the next video.